A Hartford firefighter facing charges for leaving his guns out on a child's bed appeared in court today. Police say he put the seven-year-old in danger by not locking up his gun. So what do gun owners need to do to stay out of trouble? News 8's Bob Wilson live in Hartford tonight with more on that, Bob. Yeah, it can be something as simple as a gun lock like I have here. But police say know the laws. The law, he was not charged with improper storage of a firearm, even though it was just laying out on the bed. That's because it was unloaded. However, he was charged with risk of injury to a minor. 43-year-old Michael Patterson is used to search and rescue, not law and order. But the Hartford Fire Lieutenant found himself facing a judge after police say he left 29 guns laying on his 7-year-old's bed. Very serious allegations. The guns were located in a bedroom. It was a child's bedroom. Uh, they were on the bed. Uh, every gun was unloaded, but they were in immediate proximity, you know, within a foot or two of ammunition. It is a complete fabrication that those firearms were in a child's bedroom. It was the parents' bedroom. This case is about the Hartford Police Department using a phone call from a family member to seize firearms from this gentleman. The reason police charged Patterson with risk of injury to a minor and not improper storage of firearms? You can be charged if you leave the gun around for a kid to get access to. No, it has to be loaded. Now, police say that the best way to keep your gun out of the hands of children is to put it in a safe. We're going to try to show you what a gun safe looks like, but a lot of people are a little leery to go on camera and talk about exactly what's in their safe, where their safe is kept. They say they don't want people to know just how many guns they have, and that is a big, important safety point. By keeping it hidden, you should put that gun safe in the closet. It can bolt to the floor, and you can also put a big sandbag in it to keep it from being moved out of the house. And second, police say if you can't do a safe, you can use a gun lock. If I had a semi-automatic, you could go up through the magazine well and out through the ejection port for like a shotgun. You could go like through the loading port and back out through the ejection port. You know, there's lots of different ways to do these. That, there are a lot of different ways. And for you non-gun owners, that's basically like locking up a bicycle. It just has a long cord on it, a metal cable, and it goes up in through where the bullets would go in and out. And that way it will keep the gun from firing unless you have the key to unlock it. Very, very cheap. And if you can't afford a gun lock, you can even go to the West Hartford Police Department or other police departments around, and they will give it to you for free. I'm Bob Wilson, reporting live in Hartford, News 8.